12-bit self-calibrated DAC was designed in the MSM group with the support of Xilinx Ireland. The chip was fully characterized in the MSM measurement lab. The main measurements included static and dynamic characterization for temperature ranges from minus 25 to 75 degrees Celsius. A digital pattern generator provides differential LVDS signals to the dock. Clock generation and data synchronization depend on a controllable clock generator. The measurement setup includes a number of power supplies which help to investigate the internal behavior of the chip. The following demonstrates a two-tone DAC measurement. The oscilloscope shows the D2A converted signal in the time domain. The frequency domain of the same signal can be viewed in the signal analyzer. The entire measurement setup is controlled by a computer. Through lab view, the digital pattern generator is programmed. The DAC test chip converts the digital pattern into an analog signal. However, if we investigate the frequency components of the DAC output, we will see not only the two main D2A converted signals, but also a lot of harmonic distortions purse. The generated harmonic distortion is due to the mismatch of the duct signal current sources. In addition, the harmonic distortion components intermodulate between each other and considerably limit the useful dynamic range of the duct. To correct the mismatch of the duct current sources, we can activate the self-calibration ability of the DAC. After some calibration activity, we see a significant improvement in the DAC output frequency spectrum. The mismatch errors of the DAC current sources are corrected, the harmonic distortion spurs are removed, and the useful dynamic range of the DAC is improved. The on-chip calibration algorithm is based on three important principles – self-measurement, self-correction and autonomous logic. A current comparator is used for self-measurements. For self-correction, small calibrating ducts are connected to all duct current sources. Calibration is controlled by a fully on-chip integrated control logic, which is implemented as an 8-state finite state machine. This calibration method was presented in 2005 at the 31st European Solid State Circuit Conference. The calibration method was also granted the US patent 2006.